sliding down a slope this is an easy exercise this is not this is just a trick with the graph you can do it let's assume it takes one second to reach here it might take two second 20 or one and a half second let's say two second So ball starts from here and goes there. There is no problem. Now you can see it's starting slow and it's ending with ending slowly. So everything is fine till now. What I can do, I select here and make it what you say linear. Now check. Yeah. It's getting a speed and it's moving at a constant speed. So if you can see the graph is straight here, there is no arc in it. So what will happen? It will move with the constant speed. But in the slope, it's need to keep on increasing because there is a gravity. So I'll change the arc. Now it has a proper acceleration graph. Before it was a velocity graph now it has an acceleration because of the gravity yep, it's keep on increasing you can see now you can see it's getting intersection somewhere in between either by taking your y graph or x graph you can improve it see now it's pretty good perfect So now you know how much with how speed which speed it's going so make sure to not to disturb this angle so what you going to do let's animate further so let's say this is your distance right so if I go here like 10 frames so in the next 10 frame it should be somewhere here let's go 10 frame and animate it on 11th frame it can hit the ground so let's go the 11 and hit the ground so now we have to now this is a bad this is bad. Oh, we make it linear we didn't do, do that manually so that's the issue let's do it again let's go to this point and make it straight oh. okay so we said we fixed our graph now we know how it's coming to the ground so we need to make sure it will maintain its arc so we can see there is a sharp turn here maybe because of this now the sharp turn is gone it can be a little back to do maintain the graph so I'll just do a one a little out well I'll leave it we don't need to do the bouncing ball here so this is how you can do your sliding if you wanna add some rotation let's say one two three four five six what was the key 50 and then 61 mm. i'm animating like two and a half 800 degrees so the graph also need to be fixed
there is a key around 50 if your rotation is directly proportional to the movement so your rotation key will be always same as your x movement key so if you see there is a similarity between x graph and the rotation Ah, there you can see finally uh, the translate x and the rotation of g so you can see both arc is almost same to so it's directly proportional to the rotation as much as it moves that much it will rotate no matter the va the values will multiply so you can see that's a nice rotation here 